Hey folks, welcome to Pitcher This. I'm your host, John Pitcher. If you're anything like me, you like to have fuel on hand that doesn't contain ethanol. I use it for my small engines and I also keep a supply on hand for our generator in case we happen to lose the power. Ethanol free fuel, in case you didn't know, stores much better than the fuel that you buy with ethanol in it. It's harder and harder nowadays to get fuel that doesn't contain ethanol because the governments have mandated that all gasoline contain at least 10% ethanol. You can, however, find manufacturers that supply gas without ethanol in it. You most likely have to pay more for it. It seems to be harder to get in the US. I live close to the border, so I do buy some gasoline over there. It seems to be harder to get over there. In Canada, I've traditionally used Shell gasoline, and I knew for sure that their premium fuel didn't contain ethanol, but that seems to be not the case anymore. So I decided about a couple of months ago to make a video on this and, and buy fuel from a bunch of different suppliers over the past couple of months. I'll quickly tell you how I test for ethanol. There's plenty of videos online to show you how to do that. But what you can do is just find a cylinder like this. You can buy them on Amazon. They, they charge a ridiculous amount of price or amount of money for it. But all you need to do is find a, a, a cylinder like a glass or plastic, something clear, put water in it because if there's ethanol in the fuel, when I add the fuel to this, the water will attract the ethanol. Ethanol is hydrophilic, so it's attracted to water. So what I'll do is I, I mark the, the cylinder here and I put the same amount of water in it for all the fuels that I've tested. Once you add the fuel, kind of give it a little swirl and any ethanol in it will be attracted to the water and that level that you see on there will change. It'll actually end up with more uh, than you started with. So. So what I did was I started with Costco. The fuel attendant at Costco did tell me that their premium fuel was ethanol free. They only have two types, regular and premium. So I tested that and that turned out to be ethanol free, perfect. Then the next fuel supplier I went to was Irving and lo and behold, the premium fuel on that was ethanol free. So I know that my local Canadian tire on their gas pumps their premium or supreme fuel, I can't remember what it's called, but, but their top tier fuel says right on the pump, no ethanol. So I was curious to know if that was the case. Sure enough, I tested the fuel from Canadian Tire and that was ethanol free as well. So Costco was ethanol free, Irving was ethanol free and Canadian Tire. And I was like, okay, well, we're hitting, we're batting a hundred here. So I went to Shell, which traditionally was the supplier that I used when I wanted ethanol free fuel. So I went to a local Shell where I live and filled up, brought it home, did the same testing method I did with the other fuels and lo and behold, the fuel had ethanol in it. And not only that, the fuel itself looked very, and I'm not, I'm not a, a chemist, but the fuel itself looked very low quality. It looked kind of yellowish, reminded me of fuel when I was, you know, 30, 40 years ago when I was dirt biking and just looked like, looked like fuel from back in those days. The fuel from the other manufacturers, Irving and Canadian Tire and that were, was much clearer, especially uh, Costco was much clearer as well. So I found that to be a, a little disturbing actually, surprising. I was expecting Shell to have fuel that didn't contain ethanol. So I thought it might be a one-off, I know that Regardless of where you get your fuel, I'm sure they don't all get their fuel from the same place. For instance, if Costco in New Brunswick is getting their fuel, I'm sure they're, if you have Costco in Ontario and you're getting your fuel there, I'm sure it doesn't come from the same supplier that we get our fuel in New Brunswick. So keep that in mind. You might want to check your local supplier individually and see if you can get fuel without ethanol in it. So that being said, I went to another shell which is probably 100 kilometers away from here, and I tested the fuel there, and there was ethanol in that as well, and the fuel looked the same. So that they must have the same supplier. So it was a little disappointing. That was the fourth station that I checked. So uh, I thought that that wasn't quite enough, and I decided to check a local Ultramar. I'm not sure where you live, if you even have Ultramar where you live. But I decided uh, today I was gonna get some fuel uh, from, from Ultramar and give that a test. Now, each and every time I got the fuel, I filled my car first. That way, if there was any fuel or regular fuel in the pump system, in the line, that would go into the car, and then I would get the premium without contamination in the tank that I was gonna test. So we're gonna test this fuel from Ultramar and see if there's any 
ethanol in that and that will be five stations total and you will have an idea of where you can get fuel without ethanol. So let's try that. I've already filled this, like I said, to, to the line there with water. I'll fill it to a predetermined amount. Okay, so I've filled the, the cylinder with gasoline on top of the water. I can almost tell now that, let me get the focus here. If you can tell how that looks there. So what I'll do is I'll give that a swirl. And if there is any water in there, or sorry, if there is any ethanol, it will be attracted to the water. So make sure I'm focused here. There we go. So I'm gonna let that sit. Judging right now, I'm gonna say that it doesn't contain ethanol. The girl at the counter at the Ultramar station did tell me that their premium fuel didn't contain ethanol. So it looks like that. I know the other fuels that I have tested in the past that had ethanol in it, you'll, sh you'll see an immediate increase in this, in this line here where the water is. I will set it down and let it settle for a little bit and we'll come back and look at it. Well, there you have it, folks. I finished the testing on the Ultramar. It's settled nicely and there is no ethanol in that fuel, just like she told me at the station. I tested five manufacturers in total one of them twice because I wanted to make sure it wasn't one off, but Shell Fuel Premium, their top tier premium fuel has ethanol in it, which is a little disappointing. All the other manufacturers that I tested, Costco, Irving, Canadian Tire, and Ultramar, they all have top tier fuels that are available without ethanol. Again, you will have to test that in your local area. That may or may not be the case. If this was informative to you folks, then I would really like it if you give me the thumbs up. And if you like videos like this that are informative and random in nature, then how about hitting that subscribe button. Until the next video, folks, take care.